KCAL News Meteorologist Paul Deano is back with your next weather forecast. And Paul, the sunshine is so wonderful. It feels so nice outside. Yes, even though it's not really that warm, it's kind of windy, but who cares? It's not raining and it's sunny. I just imagine somebody going up to the king and saying, well, we can book Snoop Dogg. <laughs> he has to sit there. That's a conversation going on in London right now. Ontario, 58 degrees. Uh, Inland Empire, you're actually trailing downtown Los Angeles by about 8 degrees, but you don't have the wind, so it's kind of a trade-off. We are windy in the San Fernando Valley and also in much of the metro area of L.A. County. Radar. It's pretty clear. One exception did see a tweet that up toward the grapevine, there are some light snow showers on the northern side of the higher elevations there. So watch out on the five. It could be a little slippery. Uh, La Nina winters are not historically wet ones for us. El Nino winters are. The La Nina winters usually take the jet stream and the storm track and send it way up north. This is wet for Seattle and Portland. Well, guess what? Everybody on the West Coast has been wet. And not only did are we number one on the list for record wet La Nina winters, it's not even close. Number two is 20 inches. We're at 26 inches of rainfall. Or, put differently, if we didn't receive another drop of rain from now until the end of September, we'd still be like 50% wetter than average. So we can be done and be okay with that. Maybe we will be soon. Santa Ana 64 for a high today. San Bernardino 61. Oceanside 61. Van Nuys a windy 65. It's also windy up towards Santa Clarita. 61 degrees and 67 for downtown Los Angeles. Not only has this month been wet, it has been cold. This is the average high so far this March. 63 degrees. The average high, not for March, for January is 68. We are running five degrees colder than a typical January. That's how wet and that's how cold we've been. Let's shake out of this pattern soon. We do have another storm coming up next week. Maybe that's it after that. California drying out. Utah, record snowfall for them and snowpack for them. It is still snowing around the Wasatch Range uh, just near Salt Lake City. For us, a calmer pattern. Friday, we're dry. Saturday, we are dry and mostly sunny. Sunday, we are dry and mostly sunny. Next week is when we begin to see some changes. Monday may be, may be the warmest day. Sometimes we draw up a strong southerly breeze ahead of the next storm. It's exactly what's going to happen on Monday. Rain chance begins Tuesday evening and may linger through the day on Wednesday, perhaps even Thursday morning. That's next week. Enjoy a nice weekend between now and then. 67 degrees tomorrow, 68 on Sunday. 70 on Monday, a nice four day stretch of weather. Uh, please get outside and enjoy the only dry weekend we're going to get for the entire month of March. That's sad, but at least this weekend's dry. 66 degrees on Saturday in our valley, 67 on Sunday. Rain returns Tuesday night. Inland Empire, a little breezy this afternoon. 64 will be your high over the weekend before Wednesday. Next week, a high of 52. The high desert Antelope Valley under a wind advisory right now. Less wind, but still breezy this weekend. Rain chance returns on Wednesday. Beach is looking good. Don't go in the water until Sunday. I think we have a beach advisory until Sunday morning, but Sunday afternoon, a high of 64. And your extended forecast for the mountains. Maybe you've been waiting to go skiing. You've been hearing about all this snow for like two months, but the roads have been horrible to get up there. Not this weekend, 38 degrees Saturday and Sunday, and the roads are fine. Back to you, Amy. All right, Paul, thanks so much. Well,